This is five ways to rebound after a demotion at work. <sighs> Demoted. It's worse than being unfollowed or unfriended. It's like, it's like getting dumped, right? Like demotion. I'm sorry if you got demoted. My name's Shauna Cole and this is Career Interrupted. Demotion has a really bad ring to it, doesn't it? In this video, we're gonna go through five specific ways you can actually rebound after a demotion at work, but like in a healthy and productive way, like not how you rebounded after a breakup in university. That wasn't just me, was it? On this channel, we're all about career advice and bringing you behind the scenes of HR. If you find that information helpful, make sure and you subscribe to the channel. I'll wait. Go ahead. Press subscribe. It's like in the bottom somewhere here, here. When we say demotion, or if you're going through that experience of having to take a step back in your career, it can feel like really, really awful. And demotion can really take a toll on our ego. And sometimes, and sometimes the whole scenario can actually feel really confusing. I mean, my boss didn't say the word demotion, but it really feels like a step back. Often the situation isn't really cut and dry and as clear as someone sitting you down in the meeting room and saying, I am demoting you. Quite often companies will shy away from using that type of language because it can get them into all kinds of different legal trouble. But demotion, if you haven't been told I'm demoted in so many words, you might still in fact be experiencing the scenario where you've been told you're taking a step back in your career. So call it whatever you want. Whether someone has sat down and said you are being demoted, you feel like you're being forced to take a step back in your career, you've been impacted by your reorganization, whatever the case, these five steps are gonna get you through this tough spot in your career and have you come out shining on the other side. You're excited, right? Okay, come on. Let's dive into point number one. Make sure to stay at the very end of the video because point number five is so, so important for you to hear as you're going through this big transition point in your career. Ask for feedback. Okay, so if you've been moved back in your career and you're not fond of why this has happened and it's really not aligned with your overall goals, you need to know why this has happened. So I think one of the most important things that you can do is actually sit down with your manager and ask them for feedback, not general feedback. Okay. What you want to get at is more specific examples. So don't be shy to push your manager a little bit in a healthy, productive and respectful way. I want you to ask questions that the answers that you're getting are actually going to allow you to correct whatever behavior or whatever skill it is that's missing. So if your manager you're finding is being a little bit vague in their responses, well, Shauna, I really think you could improve on your Excel skills. Thanks so much for that feedback. Is there something specifically in Excel that you think I should focus on? Well, Shauna, it seems you don't know how to unhide columns. Perhaps you should take a course on how to unhide columns in Excel. Thanks so much, manager. That's really useful feedback. I can now go sign up for an Excel course. I mean, I don't need to know how to use pivot tables, right? Like. Does anyone know how to use pivot tables? Okay, so you get the idea. 
general feedback and not super useful. But once you drill down a little bit, you can actually tug out action items that you can work on and improve your performance in. When it comes to the whole idea of soft skills, a great tactic to get more information from the manager if they're being too vague and general is something like this. Well, Shauna, your team doesn't really seem to like you. Okay, um, thanks for that feedback manager. Uh, ouch. Um, let me get myself together here. No, don't do that. Anyway, so thanks for that feedback manager. Can you help me understand a specific scenario where my actions or behaviors weren't well received by my team? Sure, Shauna. Remember that meeting when you yelled at Tom in front of everybody on the Zoom call and made him feel like a complete idiot? That's a good example of why your team is giving negative feedback. Okay, so there's always, do you think I'm a good actor? No, don't comment on that. Anyway, there's always a way to get to like that next level of information, but you gotta be on your toes, you gotta be comfortable in the moment, and you probably will need to push the manager a little bit, but you got this. Listen, acknowledge, seek to understand. It's okay if you don't feel the feedback is valid or fair. The point isn't to argue the feedback, it's to get the feedback and then you decide what, if anything, you need to do with it. If you want to advance your career and that's someone's perception of you, yeah, you probably got to do something. Get clarity. These like key transition points in your career are a really great time to like pause and reflect. I'm not gonna go all fluff, fluff, kumbaya on you here about, um, about career clarity, but I do think it's an important moment for you to take and reflect and assess how you've gotten here and if you are in fact where you wanna be. So think about it. We often go through this exercise of picking out our careers in like high school and university. And then sometimes when we end up like mid and later in our careers, we can look around and go like, how did I even get here? Because changes in the company have moved you to where you are, because sometimes things just sort of happen when we don't take full ownership and control of our entire situation. So anytime when we have like these moments of transition in our life, it's a great time to stop, pause and say, okay, am I actually where I in fact want to be? Check out my video on career clarity. I've got a five-step process where I walk you through this very specifically and clearly. And at the end, you will have a clear career vision because without clarity, without a vision for your career, you can't be successful. You can't get where you wanna go if you don't create the roadmap. Work on your goals. If you've worked through a career clarity exercise, the outcome is to get specific goals for your career. And now it's time to work on them. At this point, it's important to assess whether or not we still want to climb in our careers. And you would have figured it out by working through career clarity exercise. But maybe demotion doesn't have to be a bad thing once we get past that initial shock of the change, maybe the demotion could be a right fit for us for this moment in our life, for this moment in our career, or maybe it's not. In either case, it's perfectly okay. But now that we've got clarity and we've set some clear goals, we're in a great situation to work towards whatever path is aligned with what we actually want, not like what the world tells us what we want. Focus on your personal brand. Okay, reality check. You've been demoted, right? So reputation, your personal brand might have taken a little bit of a hit when that happened. You've got 
people's perceptions uh, playing in on what that looks like. So whether your demotion has you losing your team of direct reports, um, reporting into a different manager, whether you've had uh, some sort of change to your comp, all of those things might not reflect favorably from someone outside looking in. The great news is that your personal brand is yours and you can manage it however you like. You can put the messaging around it however you like. But in the absence of doing that, you're just kind of letting everyone create their own story for you, which can be problematic. I'm gonna give you one really specific thing that you can do when it comes to your personal brand, and that is to work on your LinkedIn profile. But Shauna, I'm not actively looking for a job or I'm going to stay with this company. Why would I do that? Well, let me tell you why you would do that. Your LinkedIn profile is like usually the first thing that comes up when someone Google searches you. Now, I want you to reflect on what that looks like for you. If that shows up as a first Google search result, are you kind of proud of what shows up or maybe mortified? You want to be proud of how you're showing up online. So often that's someone's first impression of you. People are Googling you. So you want to control the messaging that is out there and controlling the content of your LinkedIn profile is a really, really great place to start. So I say go work your profile, make sure that you've achieved all-star status on LinkedIn, which basically means your profile is totally complete and you can now show up in searches and so on. You look more credible when you have an all-star profile. Check out my video on how to create a LinkedIn all-star profile for more on that. The other reason you want to show up on LinkedIn in an intentional way is that can actually help to enhance your overall professional credibility. The way you're showing up on LinkedIn, if you're commenting on other people's posts, if you're engaging with content that's out there from your company, you can actually be implicitly creating this new story about you, your brand, and the whole narrative around you. You can build your credibility by commenting on posts on LinkedIn. So LinkedIn is free. It shows up number one um, in the Google search results and it provides all kinds of opportunity for you to enhance your professional credibility. And did I mention, hello, it's free. So go do that. But like after, after we watch this video, if you're finding this video helpful, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Okay. We're here. We're at the end of the five things that you can do to rebound after a demotion. Number five is so extremely important because we need to recognize the journey of being demoted. It's a pretty emotional one for most people. Getting demoted is really, really hard not to take personally. You've worked hard on your career and you might be feeling like you've done something wrong but that's not always the case. So I want you to remember this really, really important thing. Even if you've been demoted, you are still valuable. You still have talents. You still have unique skills. You still have capabilities to bring to an employer. This is one moment in time in your professional career. This is potentially one person's opinion of you. Isn't it sad how much power and impact that one person could potentially have on you and your career? Just remember, you still have a lot to bring to the table. And just because you've been demoted right now doesn't mean that you can't start to plan for your comeback tomorrow. So remember, you are still valuable. You still bring lots to the table. And this is not the end. In fact, it could mean a new beginning. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and remember to make change work.